In As Beautiful As You, episode six to seven, seeing that the company was at a dead end, Ji Zing's junior went to Han Ting for help. In As Beautiful As You, episode six, a friend told Han Ting, Ji Xing is definitely an enemy on her career path. I have never seen anyone who can disrupt Han Ting's plans over and over again. This friend then commented, in my opinion, you should invest in Ji Xing. In short, we can't expect her to succeed in helping Indochina health in the future. It's purely a love story. Why are there so many meandering stories? After a few moments of contemplation, Han Ting affirmed that he would not give up his original investment principles just to pursue a girl. In the meantime, Ji Xing is encouraging her juniors to start a business with her. He said our spirit wasn't worth a dime, making us doubt ourselves. I will definitely start a successful business. Accidentally meeting at a restaurant, Ji Xing said that she was on an appointment with an investor, but this lie was quickly exposed by her carefree best friend in front of Han Ting. There are no investors investing in her. The investors she contacted previously were extremely unreliable. There is someone worse who wants to use a lot of money to make our Ji Xing surrender. According to Ji Xing, it's really bad. Close friend Ji Xing gushed, not knowing that the extremely bad investor she was talking about was Han Ting. Ji Xing tried to stop her best friend but couldn't. She could only cover her face and turn away shyly. The surrender conditions are still valid. Han Ting texted Ji Xing, then happily watched the constantly changing expressions on her face. However, how can a talented, strong, and somewhat stubborn person like Ji Xing accept giving up so easily? As Beautiful As You, Episode 7 Preview opens with Ji Xing encountering her old boss and Han Ting who are walking together at the cinema. Holding her senior Xiao Yi Chen's arm, she introduced him as her boyfriend. Looking at Han Ting's eyes that kept looking towards Ji Xing while at the movie theater, she was extremely jealous. Then she told Han Ting about Ji Xing starting a business in a tone full of sarcasm and disdain. These words made Han Ting uncomfortable. Han Ting secretly liked Ji Xing for a long time, but before he could pursue her, he discovered that she had a boyfriend. Now hearing other people say bad things about the person he likes, he's really upset. After knowing the story, the friend continued to advise Han Ting, what about having a boyfriend? Also not married. Ji Xing has already researched a simulation product. You don't even want to take action. If she accepts investment from someone else, you really don't have a chance anymore. But as long as you invest in her, she is your employee. While Han Ting was still undecided, Xiao Yi Chen proposed to Ji Xing. At this moment, her startup encountered a serious problem. With limited money, they had to rent a cheap 3D printer. Unexpectedly, the other party took the money and immediately ran away. This incident made Ji Xing stressed and overworked to the point of being hospitalized, being pushed into a corner, Ji Xing's juniors and starting a business had to go to Han Ting again and tell the story. Standing outside Ji Xing's hospital room, although Han Ting was worried about her, he still firmly told the other junior, personal acquaintance is personal acquaintance, work is work. If you can't stand even this little bit of pressure, then there's no point in investing in you. If you really want the best for her, please advise her to accept my conditions. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like and share buttons to update the latest news of the day.